Scorpio. This is Renee. And welcome back. This video is going to be Scorpio's general reading for February 1st through the 15th. And Scorpio, if this reading resonates, hit that like bu button. <laughs> I can't even speak. Hit that like button, subscribe, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Scorpio, this is your reading. What is coming through for Scorpio? Perception. We also have creation at the bottom. What are you creating, Scorpio? What's coming through for you? <clears throat> Scorpio, can I have a message for Scorpio Spirit? Sun, Moon, and Rising. For Scorpio's highest good. A rose's kiss. Beautiful. At the bottom, we have Beyond the Ordinary, number 45. Scorpio, you are beyond the ordinary. You are a unicorn. A beautiful, beautiful, unique being. Okay, what messages do we have for Scorpio? We have strength and guidance. Okay. At the bottom we have raise your vibration. Okay, Scorpio. With these oracle cards, I feel like you're changing your perception of some kind of situation. Some kind of situation is evolving into something different. And I feel like, you know, if you're open to love, Scorpio, I feel like with the rose's kiss, you could very well be open to love at this time. So February may be a very good month for you when it comes to love. I also feel like you're very strong at this time, Scorpio. And as I'm looking at this card, look at that. I feel like you're doing your magic. You're bringing something forward. You're bringing something that you've wanted very much into your life. And I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you have the strength, the guidance, and the protection to bring forward whatever it is you're manifesting. Whatever it is that you're trying to bring down to earth, I feel like you're bringing that forward. You're creating that situation for you. Okay, let's get some tarot cards. What's in the cards for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, and Rising. A message for Scorpio spirits. What does Scorpio need to know? January 15th, excuse me, January 1st. February 1st. I'm getting it all wrong today. February 1st through the 15th. For Scorpio's greatest good. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. There may be a choice that you need to make. We have the Moon card. Hmm. Hmm. 
the Three of Swords in reverse. The Four of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. Scorpio. So, for this first row, I feel like there's a choice that you needed to make. This is in the near past. So, this choice you've already made. And I believe that it brought to you the information that you needed. It brought to you the things that needed to be exposed, that needed to be re revealed to you so that you could follow through with this choice. And I feel like this choice is something that you had to make because it very well was likely something that you had to let go of. This may be things out of your life. This may be people out of your life. Um, but I feel like this was a needed change because the person that you had to expose didn't have your best interest. They didn't care for you as deeply as you cared for them. And that left you very sad. It didn't leave you heartbroken, Scorpio. This Three of Swords is upside down. This Three of Swords is overcoming heartbreak. They're battling through it. You know, they are working past the problems and they're healing. That's what I get from this Three of Swords. This Three of Swords may be disappointed, but they're able to push on. They're able to keep going, not give up. And I feel like by doing that, Scorpio, you're being celebrated. You're finding your happiness, your companionship. This is you being surrounded by the people who love you. The people who want to be around you for exactly who you are and who you want to become. These people accept you unconditionally these people accept you no matter what the situation is and I feel like this is a truth this is a truth that you needed to hear you needed to hear that people were on your side no matter what that you had that unconditional love that unconditional support that only people who truly love you can give you. Only people who truly respect you, your boundaries, and the goals that you have set. You know, these are the people who want to see you succeed in life. Who want to see you lift higher, raise your vibration, and excel. These are the people who have your back no matter what. You know, these are the ones who are left around you after everyone else has left. And that's very important to understand, Scorpio. Because, for the simple fact is... Sometimes we need to weed through. And I say that because sometimes we have to pluck these people out of our lives. We have to really remove them out of our lives because they're not working in our favor. They're not uplifting us. They're not being supportive. You know, they're being negative. They're bringing too much chaos or too too much drama. So, you know, they, these are people that have to find their own way. And sometimes we can't be the leader to show them. So, 
I think you're finally figuring this out, Scorpio. I think this is coming to light. This is the perception that has changed in you. This is a realization that you finally come to. You know that not everyone is on your side. Spirit, give me a message for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to hear right now? Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. So definitely, making this choice was very hard. It was very hard because you may care about these people more than they care about you. Um, you may want the best for these people or this person or this job more than they wanted the best for you. So I feel like it's left you very weary, kind of defeated, but still ready to push on, you know? Um, yeah, but you're still in the fight, Scorpio. You are still in the fight. You're still in it to win it. And I see that with this... Um, with this five of wands. Five of wands, it's all about challenges, obstacles. It's all about sport, competition. And maybe you felt like there was too many challenges or obstacles, or maybe you felt like you had to compete to get ahead. You know, there's some situations in life we do not want to compete in. And I totally understand that. Yeah, we have the world card. So, with this disappointment, with this healing, you've learned a huge lesson, Scorpio. There was a lesson here. This is now complete. You know, this is probably done and over with, but this is something that you learned a very hard lesson from. This is something that has actually helped you grow, to expand, you know, change your perception, change your point of view about certain things. You're totally getting clarity about the way some people in the world are not all of them but the way some people in the world are we have the seven of swords yes i feel like with the seven of swords energy you had to battle through this there were some people around you who were sneaky who were conniving they didn't want the best for you, you know, so you had to move them aside and put yourself first, Scorpio. And I feel like that was something that you had to learn because Scorpios aren't really ones to put themselves first, you know. Scorpios are very helpful. They, they really stick their neck out for someone in need. And I, I truly see that, but I feel like this is a process that you needed to learn in order for you to expand, in order for you to see that not everyone, even people that you help, even people that you give your all to, even those people sometimes stab us in the back. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Eight of Wands. So definitely, definitely, I feel like some kind of truth, some kind of honest information, and I feel like this is possibly a, an apology as well. I feel like this person that you had to cut loose, they're going to come crawling back, and they're going to come apologize to you. And they may even come back and apologize sincerely from their heart. 
but I'm not sure you're going to accept it, Scorpio, because this person, even if they're honest, they still have the ability to stab you in the back or take something away, you know? And that's very sad energy, I know. But I feel like this person is coming forward to apologize because they finally see that with you in their life, their life was better. Their life was more cheerful. You know, you brought that spark to their life. And now they see their life without you and they're feeling very defeated very sad their the karma is coming back around they're feeling very deeply the feelings that they put you through the feelings that they left you with they are feeling very deeply so this is karma this is karma for that person who left who tried to leave you defeated. But Scorpio, I'm going to tell you something. And I'm going to tell you something straight from my heart. You cannot be defeated. Only you can defeat yourself. Because only you have the strength to tear yourself down. You, you can't give other people the, the strength and the knowledge to tear you down. Only you have that ability. And I feel like you're not even sure just how powerful you are. You are a force, Scorpio. You are a force to be reckoned with. Look at this. The Hierophant. You are the teacher. You are the guide. You probably are the one who gives people advice when they're in need. You know, you're the one who steps up and helps them, makes them feel better um, before they leave away from you, you know. And I feel like, you know, with the Hierophant, the Hierophant, he's not only a spiritual leader, but he sits in between two pillars. He sits in between the two pillars of obedience and disobedience. But that doesn't stop the Hierophant because the Hierophant wants to do what is right. He wants to do what is just. He wants to teach and to bring a higher source into people's lives. The Hierophants, it can mean marriage, that's true. It can mean traditions, that's true also. And it can also mean expectations. But the Hierophant is a teacher. He's a guide. That card also means that you are gaining spirituality. You're looking for a higher power. Yeah, you have the King of Cups. And look how he's dipping his feet in that water. He's dipping his feet in that water to test his emotions. The King of Cups, he has a lot of emotions, but he's very good at controlling them. And a lot of times the King of Cups won't show you his emotions. He keeps them hidden away. He don't want you to see him emotional or feeling any emotion. He wants to sit there in his emotions and just watch, just bask. You know, the King of Cups, he can also be very supportive and empathetic. But he also is tolerable. But he's only tolerable to a point. Because the King of Cups, like I said, the King of Cups can get emotional. But when he does hit that breaking point, 
you may not see it because he will hide his emotion. He will not show it. That could be you or that could be someone around you, Scorpio. Someone is hiding their emotions. Someone doesn't want you to see that they're hurt. And look at this. We have the strength card. The strength card is showing unconditional love, showing strength, having a self-respect for yourself and others. It's also being very courageous. But look how strong she is, you know. Who do you know that will ride on the back of a lion? And this lion is just following through like she has total control of this lion. She has gotten the full respect of this lion. This lion will not attack her. This lion only shows her respect because he knows that she is the one in control. You have to take your strength back, Scorpio. And you do not understand how powerful you truly are. You're more powerful than you know, Scorpio. Look at this. We have the Three of Cups. So, Scorpio, I feel like there are people around you who are showing you love who are teaming up for your benefit, you know? These people are celebrating you. This is your circle of support. These are your friends, your loved ones, your, you know, your family, your girls. But they're holding up their cups in total support of you. Total support of Scorpio. You have a lot of love on your side. The Six of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely. Someone wants to come in and help you, Scorpio. Someone wants to offer you a beautiful gift of generosity, of help, of advice. And um, I feel like this is truly something that I, ho I hope you accept very generously because... I feel like this person wants to give you a very honest, beautiful gift, you know. This could be the, a gift of words, a gift of generosity, a gift of help, a gift of support. This could also be a monetary gift, you know. Someone could be gifting you money to help you through hard times or... Um, some other gift. But I feel like someone is offering you a gift. Very soon. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. With this Knight of Swords energy, Scorpio. This is life-changing energy. This is also very hasty energy. You know, this could mean that you've made a decision in haste and maybe you should reconsider. Maybe there's something that you overlooked. Maybe you need to take a second glance or look at it from a different perspective. But the knight is very swift. He takes action and he actually fights for what he believes in. He's very young energy. So this is not real mature energy. But he's willing to battle. Okay. And the card that popped out. Look at this. The Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles is a little different. 
The Knight of Pentacles, that's also young energy. That's also kind of mature, kind of playful. But the Knight of Pentacles is very stable. Very reliable. And this Knight of Pentacles has a lot of patience. They're willing to wait. You know, they're willing to work hard for your attention. For you to see them as value to be invested in. If this is love coming through, this is someone who is very solid. Okay, we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever these knights are, this could be one person, this could be two. But if this is love coming through, if this is a message coming through, someone's taking action to get close to you, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to be very happy with the outcome. This outcome is going to bring you joy and abundance. It's also going to bring you, you know, satisfaction. The Ten of Pentacles can also bring longevity. You know, the Ten of Pentacles can mean that whatever is coming forward is going to last a long time. This is not something that's going to be over in a night. It's not going to be over in a month. It's not going to be over in a year. The Ten of Pentacles is long-lasting wealth, generosity, longevity. This is a lifetime. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups. Lots of knights in this reading right now. So I feel like definitely someone is coming to take action. Someone is moving close to you, Scorpio. And someone wants to offer you their cup. Offer you some generosity. Some kind of offer that's going to leave you very happy. This could be a proposal. This could be your knight in shining armor. Um, the knight of cups. I also view the knight of cups as believing the impossible is possible. You know, because he's carrying that cup. And usually in the traditional knight of cups, there's a fish in the cup. So he's like daydreaming. He's like caught up in this dream state. It could also mean that someone is trying to box you in and you're trying to break out of that box, you know, um, to view things from another perspective, which we've seen that already in this reading several times, that your perspective has changed about many different things. Let's get some clarity on the situation, Spirit. Give me more message for Scorpio. Give me more message for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? The wheel of fortune. The wheels are changing, Scorpio. And I feel like they're moving around. They're moving around in your favor. Something's coming forward. This is good fortune. This is you making a turning point. You know, it's like, good luck. This is change that's happening. Change that's flowing through this month. Look, we have the Two of Pentacles again. So within this change, there's going to be another choice. There's going to be another choice that needs to be decided. This also may be you weighing your options. Seeing which option is the best fit. You may have opportunities ahead of you. You know, um, I feel like this person is also juggling priorities. 
if this is something bigger and better coming into your life, you may have more responsibility. You may have more um, things that you have to deal with. And I feel like, you look at this, you have the five of pentacles in reverse. So whatever this is, you feel included. You don't feel left out. You no longer feel excluded from the situation. You feel like you belong. Like you're not lacking. Like you have everything you need. Scorpio. And we have the Justice card. So like I said before, this is a reading of karma. This is a reading of karma because... This person who is going to come in here and apologize, they're getting their karma for exactly the way that they treated you. Now they feel the exact same way. The scales have, have balanced. What you put out into the world is what you're going to receive. The scales, when they're tipped, sooner or later they have to balance. Karma has to be dealt with at some point. So what you put out in the world, that will be what you what you receive. Yes, we have a tower. So something had to end. Something had to end to bring this change about. And I feel like you already know what that was because we have the Eight of Swords. There's something that you kind of sheltered yourself from. You were hiding yourself away from the situation, Scorpio. You were defending yourself from a situation. You were setting up boundaries. But you were also being persistent. But with the, with the Eight of Swords, you know, that's self-imposed restrictions. So these are restrictions you've placed upon yourself. This isn't restrictions that someone has placed upon you. This is restrictions that you have the choice to tear down or build up. What else do we have for Scorpio? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpio. The Queen of Cups energy. Deep in emotion. Very supportive. Very nurturing. This is healing energy. The Queen of Cups, she's very healing. She is one to really nurture, really love a situation. Look how she's holding that cup. She's holding that cup and admiring it like it's a child. She's fully supporting whatever is in it. She's being very empathetic to this material thing's needs, you know? She's being very healing, very supportive, very sensitive. And I feel like that is truly your nature, Scorpio. That's basically what you do. You're a nurturer. You are a healer. And I feel like knowing these things is going to help you expand. It's going to help you expand and grow into something better. This is you looking towards the future, building up whatever goals and intentions that you have set, and then watching your ships come in. This can also be watching your ships go out, you know, but I, I feel like, I don't really feel like this is a card of travel for you. I feel like this is a card of expansion, of growing. 
This is a card just of knowing that you're on the right path. That even though you've been through struggles, you're still moving in the right direction. And I feel like very, very soon, very closely, with this tower and this wheel of fortune, your struggles are going to be over. I feel like, you know, you're you're moving into a better place. Look, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone wants to give you some kind of offer that's increasing your abundance, that's increasing your wealth, your income. This could be a new job coming in, Scorpio. This could be you using your resources wisely or a reliable person coming in to help you do the hard work that you need to. But the pinnacles, they're also a very slow, stuck energy. So where we have a card of expansion and of growing, here we have a card of slow moving energy. So those cards don't match. So where you have expansion and growing, you don't want to get stuck, Scorpio. Don't get stuck in a situation. Okay, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So like I said, we've had this card before in this reading. Someone is going to come in and offer you help. They're going to come in and offer you help, guidance, and a gift. Some kind of gift is going to push you through to, you know, the destination you need to go. Okay, we're going to take some monology cards for this reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has to say to Scorpio. Take time to breathe out. Take time to focus on yourself. Focus on your healing. Focus on being grounded. Just take a moment to yourself to show yourself love and respect. A personal issue reaches resolution. Definitely. Whatever this is, I feel like it's done and over with. Scorpio, right now you're just dealing with the aftermath. You know, this is the emotions that this person left for you. And I feel like it's your job to get rid of these emotions, to ground yourself, see a better perspective, see what's good. Bring love into the situation, definitely. Take time to smell the roses, Scorpio. At the bottom, we have a time to give rather than take. That's that Six of Pentacles energy. Definitely. Okay, let's get another card for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in this reading? Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. If they don't serve your higher good, Scorpio, then those relationships do you no good. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. I'm feeling like you really needed to hear that. At the bottom, we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Changing your perception. We keep coming back to that perception. Changing your point of view. You know? And I feel like that's very important for you right now. We have light activation. Shine your light. 
Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Listen to your intuition, Scorpio. Your intuition will not steer you wrong. Experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Beautiful. Beautiful energy, Scorpio. Very healing energy. Oh. Okay, one last message for Scorpio, please, before we go. Spirit, a message for Scorpio. We have big picture thinking, visionary, inspired ideas. Some ideas are going to inspire you. Some ideas are going to open up your perception in a way that it moves you forward, it expands. We have empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Yes, and I feel like you're very empathetic. You have a lot of empathy, Scorpio. That is the reason why you're a water sign. Water signs are very empathetic. You know, they feel emotion very deeply. And I feel like sometimes you feel emotion that isn't intended for you. That is not meant for you in any way, shape, or form. And I feel like it's very important that you understand that not all empathy is needed. That you do not have to feel someone else's pain all the time. I'm going to take one more card. At the bottom we have, I'm sorry. Defenselessness. Writing past wrongs. Uprooting. Exactly what I said. Someone is going to come apologize because they know they were wrong. They know that they hurt you. And they know how good you are, Scorpio. They know whatever it is that they did, you didn't deserve being done. You didn't deserve that kind of treatment. You deserve a lot better. So this person is going to come apologize. But with this Eight of Wands and this Ace of Swords, will their apology be accepted? That's the big thing. Hmm. One more card. One more message for Scorpio. Be assertive. Take action. Take action, Scorpio. Stand behind what you say. And compromise when you need to. But say what you mean. Mean what you say. Okay, Scorpio, that is the message I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, no worries. I upload every week, so stop by again next week and you'll have a new message for you. Okay, Scorpio, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.